Hello, I'm Captain Fjord, and welcome to Bergen, Lesland Airport. A rainy day, bad visibility, and uh, yeah, kind of how it often is. <laughs> how how it often is in Bergen. So um, on this flight, I will be showing you like everything I do from like planning, getting started, setting up everything, um, and the complete flight down to Kristiansand in the southern part of Norway. This is the ATR 72600. I still haven't made a custom livery for um, my virtual airline called Fjord Air, but um, this is good enough for now. Um, so if you want to join a virtual airline, if you like to fly in Norway, uh, like the beautiful scenery, visit small airports, bigger airports, Bring a tourist back and like into Norway from uh, like the major airports around in Europe. You are welcome to join us on New Sky. I will put a link in the description below. So as always, if you like my content, I would really be happy if you like or subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. Um, if not, then don't. <laughs> uh, please leave a comment if there is something I can improve on my videos or something that will make it funnier or better to watch in the future. So let's go into the uh, New Sky application and uh, book the flight down to Kristiansand. So uh, it's a scheduled flight um, with Fjord Air, ENBR to uh, ENCN. So you can see on the map here where it is. So it's one of the two schedules that we have available at the moment. It's only me is employed as a pilot in this virtual airline at the moment so feel free to join and we will make more schedules and have a lot of fun together if you would like to do that so let's select this one um, the current time is 8 30 Sulu let's get a departure at 9 uh, like this the duration here is a bit short, it takes more than 50 minutes, maybe almost an hour around to Kristiansand, but let's go with this. So it's Fjord 106 is our call sign, and let's choose the aircraft, it's the ATR 72600, and let's start the flight, uh, or let's create the OB. So, Simbrief, Simbrief is automatically creating a flight plan for us. Let's see if we are happy with the route it is taking. It's using the PVEB uh, 6 mic arrival. I'm not sure if I have a chart for that in Navigraph, but uh, we should be able to fly it in uh, anyway. So it's a Tuxel 3 Charlie departure out of runway 17. Flight level is um, 170. Let's have a look at the weather in Flesland. 12 knots directly from the south. Few clouds broken. QNH 1020. And in Chevik, kind of nice weather, um, to be honest. So also the weather wind is coming from the south, so we will be landing on runway 21. And that seems like a good choice from... Let's put this into Vetsim as well. Let's put in the call sign. Uh, call sign slash... Fjord. So if there is any controllers coming online, they will understand our call sign. So let's file this one. The alternate is Skarmon. That's good. So we can start with going into vPilot, connect it. There we are connected to VetSim as well. And we could go in and have a look at the map. So currently there is... 
Yeah, we got ground online in Bergen. That's cool. One to one decimal nine. So let's start request boarding. Boarding requested. We can use the aviator and let's open up here. Let's get the nav light on so people can see that there is people on board the plane and some power on. Takes a couple of seconds to get this rolling and then we can get the- Do you want to board crew? The crew is already on board. Passengers bus is coming. Like this. Uh, and hydraulic power on and windshield heating is on and oxygen supply is on. Should be good. And we armed the uh, emergency exits. So let's first set the correct weights on the plane because that's not automatically in um, uh, in this uh, plane, the ATR, the new ATR. So let's get a look on the flight plan. So we should have 2041 and the zero fuel rate is 18. Let's put this on like this. I think we we'll take it like this and we can get this down. There we should be kind of Um. Passengers boarding starting. Let's get the uh, MacG set up here. There we go. Reserve your is. Eleven hundred and thirty. I can see the trim is not set here now, but it's uh, something that we can easily do if you go to the uh, tablet here. So you can see zero fuel weight is set, fuel weight here, gross weight two point one, and we can set it here. And uh, now it should be updated. Here, L1 rudders is okay. Let's tune in and see the current ATIS. Information Alpha, I need to get my pen paper ready. Hello. So we are fjord. One oh six gate forty six. And we have information alpha. Runway one seven. Q and H. One zero two zero. Let's set that as well. Axel Tree Charlie. Uh, 
and the ground is one two one decimal nine. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Two one decimal nine. Leslan Ground, uh, Fjord 106, uh, good morning. Uh, requesting uh, clearance to Stavanger, uh, to Christian Sun, um, Fjord 106. Fjord 106, you are cleared to Christian Sun via the Tuxil 3 Charlie departure, followed by Sola Divar, which is Zulu Oscar Lima, then direct Pevet. Initial climb 6,000 feet. And squawk six five two three. Clear to Christensen via the Tuxed Tree Charlie departure runway one seventy as uh, Sul the initial climb six thousand squawk six five two three pure one zero six. And in your flight plan, you need to put uh, Sola VOR, which is Sulu Oscar Lima after Tuxil, and after that you can go direct to Pebeb, Fjord 106. Uh, to Sola VOR, and then direct to Pebeb, uh, Fjord 106. Fjord 106, read back correct, startup is approved, tunage 1020. Report for the taxi. Startup is approved. Uh, QNH one zero two zero request uh, when ready to taxi. Fuel one zero six. That was kind of a messy clearance, uh, but like we are all beginners. <laughs> I guess I got my call sign wrong with the first try. So, never had this Sul thing before, so I need to check that as well. Sula. See if we can figure out out this out. So. So I need to actually get this in as well. to Sola, then into Peveb. Yeah. Seems good. You learn something new every day, doesn't you? <laughs> so, let's go here. 
we already set this up. Let's go to the flight plan and Fjord six. No, that's wrong. One zero six. There we go. E G E R down to E. Everything wrong today. E N E R slash E N C N. Runway one seven. Free Charlie. There you go. And then we need to go. Uh, to Sula, we are. Then we have ILS Tubon and we are doing the Pave 6 mic via Ubeda. Execute. There we go. So we should have the flight plan ready. And the plane is already loaded with our passengers. So let's see. Initial climb six thousand. Six thousand like this, and let's put the squawk we got in here. Six five two three. Six five two. And we already got the startup clearance, uh, 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 so we can just start up our engines when we feel ready. Let's just get... I have a checklist that I will try to... Just check that we have set everything up. Uh, we have not. We need to get the lights correct here. The knob is on. Let's put seatbelt lights on. The emergency exit is armed. Let's get the fuel pumps on. Break this open like so. Altimeter is set. Beacon is set. Fuel pump 2 is on. We don't need the hotel mode, we can just start the engines. Oh, I forgot to start. Start my tracking, so we can do that now. <laughs> yeah, it's running. So let's get the fuel running here. Put this on feather for now. And we are starting up. Aircraft ready here. So now 
let's get the second engine running. Let's see if it starts rolling here now. There it goes. Perfect. Let's get the airport charts ready again. Let's land ground, Fjord 106, uh, ready to taxi. Fjord 106, taxi, Whiskey, Delta, Yankee, holding point 17. Uh, taxi, Whiskey, Delta, Yankee, holding point uh, 17, Fjord 106. So, taxi light on, logo light can come on, let's turn around, we can take the flaps down to the stuff, flaps 15, so you can see it going down here now to flaps 15, which is our departure. Flap setting. That puts the gate like this. Oh, what the weather. Let's check if there is some more to see online at the moment. It's only ground. So he said Delta, it's the first one. Yeah, it's just straight. So we have set everything correctly now. Let's check the... Let's get the pipe to hit on like this. All the lights are set correct. Let's check the takeoff config. It's okay. Good. So Delta is the first one to the left here. Wow, look at this. I'm glad we are not landing here. It's <laughs> it's not the easiest uh, visibility to land today, though.
So normally I would like go from probably from alpha seven, but uh, let's just start from the beginning of the runway here. So I put the speeder into select or like automatic mode. Unfortunately, no further ATC. Monitor Unicom 122.8. Have a nice day. Unicom 122.8. Uh, Heimkinder, Fjord 106. So we can go from this. Alpha 3 is long enough for this plane to take off safely without any additional power at all. So let's. So I can show you on the map here. So we are here at the moment. So we have a long, long runway. Okay. Let's get the landing lights on and put the strobes on. And we can ping the attendance for takeoff. And I believe we are good. I will put this in nav mode. And we now, or when we are changing to autopilot, let's get rolling. So the last time I tried to do this flight, I got a tail strike. It's like this runway is going uphill uh, when you are departing, so it's kind of difficult to not get your tail. Also, I just need to get the sky dolly. Uh, just start recording here. Lesland traffic, Fjord 106, uh, line, lined up at runway 17, departing south, Flesland uh, traffic. Let's see, I just go in here in just a second. Uh, Just update my volante. So let's go. Put this speed on to notch. Speed eighty. 100 and rotate positive climb gear up just keep getting speed here I forgot to put this um, Correctly. Drop 
drifting to the left here, so let's correct it. I want to get some more speed before I climb, get the flaps up. There we go. Put the yaw damper on and autopilot. Put it in climb out. Bit of a messy climb out there. Lesland traffic, fjord 106 is airborne at 2600 feet, climbing to flight level 120. Lesland traffic. So we are climbing good, we are in the climb mode, we got the taxi light off. The speed start automatically at takeoff. So. Have a look. Clear this one out. We can put the weather radar on. So we are climbing up 5,000 feet at the moment. So we are, we are just going straight south to Sol Sula we are. Sulu Oscar Lima. So we can go to standard pressure. Uh, put the heading in front of us. I forgot to do that as takeoff. So let's do our uh, review of the events so far. Um, I guess the setup of the plane was pretty good. Uh, before we departed, uh, messed up a bit with the clearance to ground. I hadn't prepared too much to talk to ATC because <laughs> there was no one online when I logged on today. But uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, we got this uh, Sula VOR that I have never used before. So uh, that was new for me. Uh, and then we got handed over to um, the uh, Unicom 128 when we approached the runway. Then we forgot to tune into that and held our attention to actually enter the runway. Could have been dangerous if there was any incoming traffic. Uh, so we should have been doing that, listening in and see if there was any traffic coming in. 
So when we lined up, I forgot to put my heading bug in. Um, the departure was pretty okay on the center line. I think I've managed to get a bit off the center line before we took off, but it's it wasn't the worst. But after um, after the takeoff, uh, I was not concentrating about holding my position. I should have probably gone into the autopilot earlier or paid more attention. So it's
There we are. I'm back. Back. We had some problem here with the uh, microphone, so I'm not sure where I went off, but I think it was off when I did my briefing. We are at 12,000 feet. I'm not sure why it's cruising above it, though. It's Let's see if it can get down to the correct level. So... We are going down to... Sula VR. Here we are at the moment. You can see... So we are going down to Stavanger, then we are cutting over to Kristiansand. Let's have a look here at the... Um, yeah, this is the correct chart. No, it is not. Uh, there is no chart for this arrival. So we just have to... I don't know why it's not there. I think I will change my routing to... What is this chart? Let's see. So we are coming in flight level 100 to Sulci. So at Sulci we are starting our descent down to Ubeda 3000. Let's have a look at the flight plan here, Solsi. So we are soon at Sola. So we have Stavanger beneath us here, you can see. So we are going, you can see the airport. Sula Airport is here and Stavanger Get some screenshots here now. Okay. 
So it should take a left turn. There we are, back in the cabin. So there, there we go. I missed click here. There we go. So Pevip in eight minutes and fifty seconds. Let's put this into heading mode and we can start getting ready for our arrival into Christian Sun. So we are going to do uh, Eyeless Runway 2 1. We can pin this. So it's course of two one two one one zero point nine. One one zero nine enter. We put this in both our nav. There you go. And if you see here now, it says um, if I get the course, no, not the course. I put this on ILS1, which is the one we set here. And you can see it says course 360. We need to change that to 212. Two one two. So just turn it around. It would be quicker to go the other way around though, but And two, twelve, there we go. Okay, then we can put this back to uh, flight management and go back to LNAV. So we got the eyeless set up. We can put this bearing one and two, so they are showing in the displays here. We get blown quite far away on this few minutes we change this. Let's have a look at the um, MacD. Transaction altitude is transition altitude is eight thousand feet and the Q and H Let's see if we can find it. It's the 1018. So we have a VAP of 109. So So we need 2300 feet. For our landing, we have 6,000 feet available.
We are getting close to Pevib. The weather has really improved a lot though since we departed from Bergen. We are on cruise power mode. We have set our... Let's see if we can figure out how the minimums work on this plane. Um, so the minimums is... 200 feet about the runway. Or 251. Let's see if we manage to set this up. I have actually no idea how to do it. So this is the decision height. And this is... There it is, MDI. 251, we can put that to... to 60. And the reason why this is... Like this, I think it's you need to set it here as well. Okay, two sixty selected. Okay, I got some problem with this flashing earlier, but I read on YouTube that you have to do it on both sides. So. So our decision altitude is 260. It's not a big problem though, but it's just good to have it programmed in. Let's have a look on the chart. Um, missed approach, climb straight ahead to 1000, intercept and proceed on... Zero point Inbound to war, in enter holding, climbing to 3000. Okay. So we're going up to 1000. And then you're going to hold at Svenhaya 112.1. 112.1. So let's see, in the nav page. One, one, two, one, enter. So we have this on standby here. So in case we have to go around, we can just click this one in here. And also the flight plan probably should have SVR here, so it's already programmed to hold. So that's good. So then I just climb to 1000 and go into hold mode. And hold mode is. Yeah, you just click there, I guess, to go into the hold. So we are getting closer. We are our P P web. Peveb. <laughs> Peveb. <laughs> nice. Peveb. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So. 1 thing I noticed with this plane is that you kind of have to manage your speed pretty good. Though. You don't have any air brakes like on the on the Boeing A320 or um, or similar yet, so, so you have to kind of plan your descent a bit better than normally. We have the airport there, so 
So at Solsi we should be about 10,000 feet. We can go down to 10,000 at the moment. And... We are on Vina path, so it's hasn't calculated any descent at the moment, so but we can do it manually like this. Uh, just make a sh small descent here. We can get the speed back a bit, so Try to go down to speed at 220, I guess. So if you have a look at the chart now, we can see um, that we can go down to 3,000 feet here. I think this one has to be, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense that it says about 6,000 and here you got... It's from approach from this direction, so you can see here it's this. You have to be more than six thousand here. You can be three thousand. We can start. Take it down. Let's go down to six thousand first. Let's go into 
can get the landing slides, fasten seat belts. We can put the barometric pressure to one zero. Was it nine? I said one zero one nine. We can double check this now. Going to here, and we can request a new meter for Jevic. Zero point eight two hundred nine knots. Yeah, I want to start the sending here, so I can just do this manually. Let's keep the speed around 200 for now. So, destination weather is obtained, arrival data is set and checked, radius is set, wing anti ice is not required, landing elevation is set, minimums is set, or landing elevation is set on auto. On Approach and missed approach is briefed. Altimeter is set to local. Landing lights is on. Seatbelt sights is on. So ILS and VR is also set. We can activate our approach speed. So everything should be set correctly here as well. We are down to 8,000 feet. So the thing we need to do now is to get the flaps down, the gear down, and get a stable approach. So we can go down to 3,000. So we should soon have the airport on our right side. Speed is good at 180. And the airport is some somewhere in this vicinity. Let's see if we can get the Vina path to work with us today. Let's put the flaps down to 15. to go in to just check our 
few seconds here if you can find the map do uh, update here yeah we don't have anything around us let's go to the uh, ILS navigation and the localizer is armed. The glide slope seems to be fine. Speed is 170 is a good good approach speed. So we have the airport on our right side here. You can see it in the distance. 160. Let's keep the speed up. Let's hit the approach button. And it's set to 3000, which is our go around height as well. nice we are good on the ILS Javik traffic Fjord 106 established on ILS runway 21 uh, 10 miles south Javik traffic Let's try to keep the speed up. Let's put the heading bug in front of us. So if something goes wrong, we can just hit the heading bu bug as well. So there we captured the glass glide slope. That's good. And we can get the landing gear down. So seven miles to go. I don't see any problem to configure the landing gear this early. You can try to keep the speed up. Like we are on 145 at the moment. some wind at the moment though, so it's, it's not that bad you can see the autopilot is struggling to keep it level it also the valley here is like it's not the 
it's a bumpy approach to go into Chivik in in real life as well. I never went there with a small plane like this, and normally a Boeing 737 or a Airbus going into this airport from Oslo or some Embraer uh, planes as well. So let's get the flaps down and get the speed down. So three miles to go. Uh, try to get the speed down to one twenty. Got got a decent headwind here, so it's I don't want to go too slow either. Too slow. Oh, the um, I have problem with the throttle stick here. Though. So, so we got the controls. We are a bit high. on the center line though but yeah let's go all the way down I plan to take the second exit there but it was not a good landing to be honest. So let's roll all the way down here. the flaps up so text light can come on let's go to parking 13 to set the uh, well, disable the uh, yaw damper when we went in Take a left turn here and
Let's go back a bit. Yeah. Taxi lights off. Strobe I could have cut it earlier. Then we. Uh, let's cut this and put this down too. Let's see here, let's open the doors, get the ground power on. And we can cut the second engine as well. There we go. Request the boarding. Let's the boarding requested. Let's see if this works here. I'm not sure if it does, but... Close flight. Let's see if the passenger actually work, work, walk off the plane here. They need to... Passengers, the boarding starting. Kind of strange though. Normally there should be passengers going off off here. Oh there I go. There I go. Oh wow. That was kind of slow. Yeah, let's have a review of the flight. Wow. I got my first tenor ever and I thought it was a pretty bad flight and landing and everything. So but it seems to be good enough. It says this was challenging conditions, so it's kind of bumpy though. So probably because of the wind we got at the... I'm not sure. I'm kind of surprised, a bit happy. <laughs> this was... Um, yeah. So scheduled departure was at nine. We departed nine minutes early and we went one minute late. So I need to change this route here to to be a bit. So the actual flight took 49 minutes. Let's see if we can figure out how this works in New Sky. So I go in and manage this one. 
and I go into the schedules and we have um, ENBR to ENC, it's this one. This is provide flight from takeoff to landing. This is kind of what's I think I need to put this into one one hour and the same with the return flight here. Because it doesn't seem to be from takeoff, it seems to be from we are pushing back from the stand to be honest. Let's see if this is better uh, on the next flight. So another cool feature when I go to see my flights um, I can zoom in here on the map um, so you can see you're actually where you actually landed so the touchdown there yeah, it wasn't the best landing though it's kind of surprised I got the tenor of this not stable enough at the approach either and I have no idea why I spent this much time to actually stop as well so I should be able to stop like <laughs> this plane is yeah, I almost stop here also yeah um, let's uh, stop Volanta if I can find Volanta here in all my apps Uh, Volanta is here. Uh, review your flight. So you can see the Volanta landing 281 98 knots. So not the best of the landings though. So let's close this and let's disconnect from That same, and then we can try to see if we can get the replay to work. So, to do that, we need to go in here and set it ready for taxi. Like this, start it up. And then I go to Sky Dolly, still recording. This is not looking great. Let's see. was that I forgot to close new sky
So let's get another try here. There we go. So you can see it was not... I wasn't stable enough on that approach. So you can see I'm a bit of... And here we are getting too low. Yeah, it's actually not the worst landing I've done. My takeoff was decent enough. It was like after now I forgot to get it stable, so I turn a bit to the left there. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I'm happy with this flight. My first tender on. Um, New Sky. Didn't think it was deserved though, but it was um, was good enough. So I hope you will uh, join me for my flight back to uh, Bergen. Uh, probably doing it tomorrow. So see you then. Bye for now. Bye bye.